When it comes to roller coasters in the UK, there are some good ones, some bad ones, and then there are these. As today, we're counting down the top 10 worst roller coasters in the UK. Coming in at number 10 is the Ultima at Lightwater Valley, a ride from which at first sight it looks a very smooth and enjoyable family ride, but no one knows what's deep within the woods. And that is living hell. As you whip from left to right on corners that you didn't realise could be so sharp, your head feeling like it's going to fall off, but at the end of the day, if you do survive the ride, you have just rode the second longest roller coaster in Europe. And that's worth riding a roller coaster made by a train company. At number 9, we have got the first of many rides from Blackpool on this list. It is Steeplechase, my 100th coaster head, but definitely one which I'm happy to forget. As from the outside, it looks like a nice fun family ride, but once you get onto it, you'll realise how intense and scary this ride really is. As in reality, all you are doing is shaking up and down while turning around corners on a small little pole. If that's not fun to you, what is? Well, Icon, which is right next to it. At number 9, we have got Rattlesnake over at Trevor to World Event. It's one of the only rides that's actually more scary than a rattlesnake because will an actual rattlesnake purposely whip you around corners drop you down drops followed by an instant trim break and make you come off having a headache well the one at Chesington World of Adventures does and you know it's safe because on the entrance sign it says that it's not suitable for anyone with heart conditions high blood pressure back or neck problems and really it's anyone who wants to have a good time but in all seriousness this ride actually has some really good elements including a great bunny hill as well as an awesome drop near the end followed by a trip anyway if you do end up going towards Chesington World Adventures I definitely recommend giving rattlesnake go as i may think it's not like a great maybe you do so make sure to comment down below if you do have a different opinion number seven now is turbo at brighton pier the only ride which personally i haven't ridden but after a vote on instagram many people thought that this ride was one of the worst that's why i decided to put it in this list and have a quick look at the pov and trust me where they ride this ride just looks horrible like i've never been a fan of carnival rides but this one out of all of them has got a special place because not only the roughness on this ride but also the loop and the elements don't look that fun either so personally if you are going to go towards brighton pier maybe look at other attractions because there must be one funner than this or maybe you're a roller coaster junkie and want to push yourself to the limits by heading onto this ride right here but if you do i wish you the best of luck but what hasn't got the best of luck is blackpool pleasure beach as for the number seven spot we have got grand national which is a dueling wooden coaster which let me be honest with you i thought was actually quite good when i visited however adam who is a member of theme park coast and said that not many people actually enjoy this ride so i was a bit shocked but here's the reasons why you may not like it one because it was made 80 years ago so obviously it's going to be a bit rough it's going to be jolty and maybe not that fun two is quite a basic layer as all it really has is a few up and downs a few turns and well a few straights and for the third but most important reason it's not an rmc like imagine how cool this ride would be if it looked like twisted glosses over at six flags magic mountain and that will turn this ride from the sixth worst ride in the uk to the first on the best rides in the uk list so blackpool what are you waiting for rmc rmc R we have now made it to the top five and if any of you want to do these rides that i now mention you are insane and not in a good way at number five we have got colossus over at fort park resort and i've witnessed this enough times to tell you to not ride this ride as even though it made it cool from the outside all the loops the corkscrews etc as soon as you squeeze into your seat in the station you realize what a mistake you have just made as you start off by heading up the lift well, that's all fine then you go around the corner and from there basically you have one minute and a half of a continuous headache till you get to my favorite part of the ride where you go back into the station and release your lap bars best feeling ever but generally guys if you ever end up going towards fort park resort there are so many great attractions like saw swarm stealth and stuff like that so don't waste your time going on an old rusty piece of junk well maybe that's a bit too harsh actually it's not but what definitely is harsh and painful is our number four spot rita the queen of pain which before we even get on the ride it looks like a giant flying fish over at fort park so who in the right mind would think wow this is like a good ride but if you are brave enough to go on this ride you start off with a little launch that shoots you off at 60 miles an hour and then you think you have something like stealth with an awesome 200 foot high structure but oh no you don't you turn around a corner then another then another then another then you have a sleep and then there's another corner then another then another then another okay i need to stop now but genuinely this ride isn't just painful it is so so boring and actually one of the funnest parts of the ride is actually the end where you can see a little rubber duck on the roof and that was like the highlight of my whole ride on vita so wow Number three, now we are back to Blackpool with the Big Dipper, a ride where actually it fully depends on where you sit. As when I visited last year, me and Jane sat on a seat which made us come off really enjoying the ride, but then Adam and my dad came off in agony. So the seat to sit in is one which is definitely, definitely, definitely not underneath the wheels. And this was confirmed by many people on Instagram who also agreed with our opinion on this. So if you do want to ride it, go in the middle row of each car as it will really prevent you hurting yourself. But in all honesty, it is very similar towards Grand 
Nashville. So if you do want to go on one of these two rides, go on Grand Nashville because it's a dude and coaster, which is also quite cool. Or maybe you want to go on both. However, don't expect to come home without any bruises on you. We are not moving away from Blackpool though for our number two spot as we are now going on to Infusion, the s, &S literal pain coaster. The one ride which is a replica to my worst ride in the world, Kong over at Discovery Kingdom. But I can't win the list because it is from America. However, this ride is not very far off with its turns, the loops, just the absolute pain that you go through when sitting in those really uncomfortable restraints. And Blackpool even knows this. Therefore, when you go on the ride, they have water underneath to make you feel a bit more calm when going on the ride, which is so, so painful. So whether you go on the ride next to it, which is Big Dipper, or you just go behind it, just what people make the worst mistakes of their lives. Honestly, anything's better than riding it. So I urge you to never, ever go on this attraction. It's not even worth the coaster cred. One ride that should be taken down, though, and removed from everywhere in the world is our number one spot, which is Hero over at Flamingo Land. This torture machine starts off with you climbing up a ladder into this cage where you get strapped in and the cage comes down behind you. You then get tipped onto the front, and then you go up a turn, lift hill with no way to get back down. And once you realise the dreaded mistake you've just made, there is no escape, as then you drop down the first drop. And if you haven't fainted already, you're going to in the next element. As you whip around the corner, followed by an upside down, when the whole vehicle tilts on its back, and you are literally feeling like you're going to fall out. Well, if that's not enough to make your life appear before your eyes, what would do? The next minute of the ride. As you do drops, turns, twists, and all that malarkey over and over again, still feeling like you're just slowly slipping out of your car then what should be the best part which is the ending actually turns out to be one of the worst as you go into the brake so fast you feel the jucks against you and you hit your head against the metal cage above before coming off never ever ever wanting to do this ride again and i haven't met a single person in my whole life who thinks that this ride is even okay there you go the top 10 worst rides in the uk the rides which you should never ever ever do unless you are totally insane but of course i may have been exaggerating just a little bit on some of my examples that i've given but all these rides apart from maybe be two you should give a go because everyone's different, different and everyone has the things that they like and dislike and you never know you might love one of these rides maybe your best ride in the whole entire world however hero nah no one likes it okay just leave that one out but one thing that i like is a big red subscribe button just down below and if you have enjoyed the video please click it as it means the absolute world to us as we're trying to hit 2.5 thousand subscribers by the end of this year as well as clicking the bell and checking out our social media as well if you want to be an absolute legend go and check out our patreon page as from as little as one pound a month you can get up to two day early access to all the new videos coming onto the channel but my name is tom derrick from theme park coasting and we have just finished the top 10 worst rides at the uk list see you guys later goodbye